morning to you welcome to a new weekly if we can call it that it's going up in the weekly slot so we'll call it a weekly um i've just sat and edited the footage by the way it's editing louise hello it's saturday night <laughs> um this is going up in 12 hours and i feel like it needs a little bit of explaining basically i have a backlog of footage so i have so much stuff that i want to put up that i've filmed um, but I just need to edit it and I wasn't sure what order, I wasn't sure whether to do chronological. I realised I think I still have a book tour vlog, the one where I took Darcy to Leeds which was such a special day um, to go up and I don't want to, I thought oh well, I just won't bother putting it up but it was really special memories and Darcy's in it so I wanted to keep that. So that needs to go up, I've got the Centre Park stuff to go up when I can format the footage, I've had some problems with that footage. Um, as I spoke about in last week's video, which was a q and A, I've got the rest of the q and A to potentially do. Um, there's just, oh, I've got a room tour. There's, there's a lot of things that need to go up. So I thought, oh, we've had a lot of like mum footage, um, and I wanted to have a bit of balance because I like putting up my like mummy days and also some of my sort of adventure work days. So. I went to Edinburgh a couple of weeks ago, as you might have seen on Instagram, I went for the TV festival and I took my camera and thought, oh, I'm going to vlog this, it's going to be amazing. Now I've been to lots of conventions in my time, I've been to like FidCon and Sitsi and Playlist and just it achieved so many far-flung conventions and they're always like great to film. And the thing is, those are internet conventions, they're for like they are for vloggers and people that love vlogs so they are by nature easier to film and I got to this and I was just so out of my depth that I just couldn't I could like my whole brain was taken up by being like okay I don't know who anyone is I don't understand what most of the things here are it was so it's such a learning curve that it was really um I just didn't get loads of footage and then I didn't explain most of the footage like one minute I'm listening to a panel and the next minute I'm like windswept in a ball gown walking through central Edinburgh with bagpipes playing with no ex explanation to you of what that was at all <laughs> um and like people pop up like Humza pops up and there's no explanation as to why and also I realize it sounds like we're being really rude to each other but it's just that we're good friends and so we have that relationship where we can have the hashtag bants. So as I was like putting it all together, I was like, oh God, this is such a mess. Um, but great memories and it was a really great week in terms of like professionally, I met loads of really amazing people and we're now having emails about a few things. So um, it was a great trip and like well worth it and definitely very interesting. And there was a lot, um, there's a lot that I learned that I didn't think I would learn. You know, like when you go, you think, oh, I'm going to learn about X, Y, Z. Well, I did that, but then there was other things that I was like, oh, I never knew that. Um, and I never thought I would know that. Is that making any sense at all? Anyway, good. I feel like I've explained that now. So when you watch it, just watch it with a, ah, Louise is wildly out of her depth. Perhaps I'll just call that the title, Out of My Depth in Edinburgh. <laughs> um, completely out of my depth completely like overwhelmed feels like a negative but it wasn't a negative just like a oh, there's a lot to know here it was a bit like when you start a new school and it's your first day but a school where everybody else knows each other and they know where the science block is and they know which cliques of friends are which and which teacher is cross if you don't hand your homework in and which isn't and I felt like I was walking into that school not knowing any of that. That's what it was like. Um, so I took my camera along to film it. Uh, great. All right, then. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what kind of video you would like next. Would you like homey mumsy? Would you like going out family? Like when I film a day out? Do you want a worky one? Do you want a sit down chatty one? Do you want a Q&A? Let me know because I'm feeling like I feel so focused on Instagram at the moment. Um, but I feel very, like, bah, messy in my mind about YouTube. I've been spending a lot of time working on some of my offline things. So, um, yeah, I, I want to get back into it and feel a bit more connected again. So, let me know what you want. Please enjoy this absolute mess of a vlog. <laughs>
de bois with sugar sprinkled on top. I am in Edinburgh today in Scotland. I got here last night and stayed overnight. It's my little hotel room. I'm in a premiere inn. And today I'm going to the Edinburgh TV Festival. Um, and I'm going to go and learn as much as I can about this wild industry that I would like to dip my toes into. Um, I thought I would take you along with me a bit. I don't know what the score is for vlogging at these sorts of things. Obviously when I go to like internet conventions, everyone's vlogging. Like VidCon, it'd be weird for someone not to have a camera in their hand, but this, don't really know what the score is and feel like a fish out of water. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I'm wearing a suit. I think that's that's the most exciting thing this morning. I'll show you my suit and then we'll just get going and see see what's what and just see what the day throws at us. So the suit I'm wearing is from Simply B. I, uh, Simply B, Simply B. I'm just wearing a little black vest under it. It's essentially like wearing pajamas. Um, it's short sleeve on the arms um, and then the trousers, they're like this kind of silky, satiny feel, feel they're high-waisted they go up to there gosh this isn't very good light is it is this any better not really hang on ah, there we go they go up to there on me um and i don't know how i feel about this because I don't usually wear things like this I usually wear a floral dress but i thought yes going after my dreams i'm wearing what i consider to be a power suit Let's go. So we've got to our hotel that we're staying in tonight. So last night was premiere in, and then tonight, because Google are paying, they put us in lock, the lock, um, and I'm in Megan's room. What time is it now? Like half nine? 9.40. 9.40. So we've come, we we're just gonna drop our bags off before we go to the actual event. Um, but they said Megan's room's available. Mine's not yet, but I'm gonna give you a tour of Megan's room, basically. Wow, it took a really long time to say, giving you a tour of Megan's room. Here we go, here we go. <clears throat> You start at the front, hang on. Should we do it like cribs? Oh yeah, go on, do you want me to open the door? Yeah, yeah, right, hang yeah, on. hang on. Okay, okay. Oh, hi, hi Megan. Yeah. Best manager at Gleam Futures. Oh, wow, look at your pad. Show us around, please, why oh, don't you? Oh, are we doing that? Okay, yeah. sure. Show us the bedroom. So this is where the magic happens. Oh. That's what they always say, isn't it? Same is it? Every episode. Oh, I don't actually, I haven't actually watched oh. it. This is where the magic, and the magic being Megan on her emails. <laughs> <laughs> safe over here. Oh, put all your best gleam secrets in there. Yeah, all my belongings. <laughs> um, that little dressing gown. Dressing gown TV. Should we see this view? view? The weather spoons. Oh. You can't go wrong with the weather spoons. Oh, <laughs> right, TV just there. Yeah. Lovely, lovely, yeah. lovely. Oh, that's nice. Like Pop a little bit of sunshine, if yeah. you will. Um, so we've got a picture oh. of my boyfriend over here. Oh, he looks lovely. I hope mm. he proposes soon. Me too. Yummy. You should oh. put that here. Hang on, let me help you. Oh, no, don't put that. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Lovely. Nice, nice. We've got a TV, got a little half sofa. Lovely, so you can recline and you can read this book. What's that? It's about modern classic cocktails, Death and Co. Oh. My kind of book. Oh, look, there's my boyfriend. <laughs> Really like this. It's nice. Very nice with a marble topper. Will you be entertaining and this evening? Cocktail making. And you've Just been given that. no. Oh, it's so it's What's in your so bag? Lovely. What's in your bag? What is it? Oh, it's coffee. Still exciting. I've used the coffee cup for three minutes. Perfect stretch. They give you milk. Tiny, tiny oh. little milk. This is the nicest hotel ever. This is lovely. You've got a whole cooker. Oh. A, um, an oven? What, an actual little oven? It, I could do a roast dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I bet this is a, oh no, I thought it was Cleaning good. cupboard, oh, Kinania. Just, these are my favourites. Little dishwasher. dishwashers. <laughs> Show us the bathroom please, Megan. Oh, yes. Where the washing magic happens. Right, this is lovely, is there the light? Oh. Adds to the mood that it's dark. Adds to the mood, hang on, hang on. Oh yeah, there we go. Ta-da, this oh, is lovely. Stuff. It's a lovely big wooden sink. accents. Lovely big sink though, isn't it? Oh, what have we got here? <gasps> Some salted caramel vanilla hair cleanse. Oh, that's not for me. Oh. Himalayan what... hibiscus. That sounds nice. I don't want my hair to smell yeah. sweet. I do. Um, and then the I nice specifically want your hair to smell. We could both get in there. Well, we won't, well, we won't but... <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, well, we weren't. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, and a hinchy. Little, little hinchy fold. She does a little thing where she puts water on, doesn't she? She does, and she just... Goes like that, and like, it seals it. Yeah, under the tap. And thus concludes the tour of Megan's room. Join us later for the tour of my room. been maybe a little bit keen with where we're sat if you note know that's the rest of the hall um, I'll show you our positioning so here's the stage already for the panelists oh 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 here I am <laughs> in my little trouser suit front and center I could have I would have got more center but these are reserved uh, but I am ready to learn from teacher's pet and I'm an overachiever so obviously I'm loving this. I'm like a sponge soaking up all the information and then computing it and then like, <laughs> like a six foot talking. Also I'll be very nice to her. Um, <laughs> ben McCohen Wilson, regional director for EMIA and uh, managing director of YouTube. Uh, based here in, in Britain. Uh, Jane Turton is the CEO of All Three Media. Uh, Jeff Wachtel is president um, of NBC Universal International Studios. And on the end, Sandra Stern is president of Lionsgate Television Group. Now, um, as you all, I'm sure, worked out, the TV Festival has a Q&A section um, on the app um, where you can add any questions. Uh, that you Hi, my name is Hamza. I'm your best friend for how many years? Ten years? No, we're really close. Very close, like this. Yep, yep, like that. Two fingers like together. Yeah, and we are here in a castle. In a castle, as you do. As you do, casual. Yep, yep, yep. I'm wearing a gown. You're wearing a sweater. Yep, yep. We've we've definitely dressed up. What is this? Oh my god. That's crazy. What is this? So we are here at the dinner. The table is nice. Woo! We've had the lovely dinner and um, there's a, a, par a parade happening outside. Um, here we go. Sorry. I'm, I don't know the background of this at all, but it's excellent. Just my normal life. Just another day in the office. Good morning to you. It is Thursday morning and this event is proving more difficult to film than I thought it would. Um, it's like every time you're standing around milling about in those like big communal areas, you end up talking to somebody and there's never an opportunity to like whip my camera out. Or if I'm not talking to somebody, people are like sat on little sofa, like breakout areas, having conversations that I don't know if they're private or not um, next to me. So <laughs> I've not got my camera out a whole lot. I've been to a few panels. Um, and I did get a couple of clips of those, but again, people are like talking about quite um, sensitive information. There's like financial information and stuff about 
like TV networks, all that sort of stuff. And I don't know like what's okay to share and what's not because I'm kind of new to this side of the industry. I don't wanna like make a massive faux pas there. So um, yesterday was great. I talked to lots of people, um, handed my business card out to a lot of people, whether they liked it or not. Um, not entirely sure that all of them wanted my business card but I was like hey take my business card um so that was good and then in the evening I went to the McTaggart dinner which is a real honor to go not a lot of people get to go so I was really thankful to go it was in basically this like huge cathedral church felt like being in Harry Potter and then we went outside briefly and there was like a parade um the food was amazing Louis Theroux was there Jerry Springer was there it was a lot and then afterwards because I was sat with a lot of like the YouTube guys um I mean like not creators but like the MD of YouTube and like very senior YouTube people um they were like oh the rest of our colleagues are off having a dinner somewhere else in Edinburgh let's go and join that and I was like okay so I was going along and we went to this dinner and at the dinner they had um these menus hang on that are made out of and um, this paper, this is the menu for the dinner, this paper has seeds in it and you can plant the paper and grow wildflowers. So I was like, take a couple of those. Um, and then it was like midnight and I was like, oh, I'm so tired. Like, I'm like a haggerty old grump. I don't want to socialize very much. I'm not that fun. But everyone was like, we're going to a bar. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> because how often do I get the opportunity to not worry about getting back on time, getting back for the kids, having to wake up with the kids. So I thought, just got to seize the opportunity to make friends with people and go and do it. So Megan and I were out. I didn't get into bed and shut my eyes till two o'clock last this morning. And I never do this. I'm very old now. I never do things like that. So this morning, I, although I didn't drink lots because I kept interspersing it with water, that's the key, like have a glass of champagne and then have a water. Um, I look at my eyes, they're very bloodshot. Um, I'm feeling quite fragile, just to feel just a bit like, mm. <laughs> um, but we've got another day today of networking and panels and such. I decided I'm not gonna take my camera because Everything that I got yesterday, I think, is what I would get today. But I do want to quickly show you the room that Google have put us in. You saw Megan's yesterday, but I checked into mine last night, and it's really nice. So I thought, I'll just show you that. So, this is the door, this one, that you come in from. I don't know what that is. It's a closet. Uh, this is the door. And then you come down little steps, like so. And you find yourself in this little bedroom area, I probably should have filmed this before I actually stepped in it. The bed was very nice, the sockets have got USB sockets as well as normal sockets which I appreciate. There is um, a bit of a wardrobe situation. This is a lock hotel, remember I stayed in a lock hotel in um, Manchester and I did a room tour of that, I'll see if I can find it and link it for you. Um, we'll leave the bathroom, if you move on from the bed, you go down your little stairs area oh lovely they're having some kind of book festival outside so we've got lots of marquees up lovely big window going on to this corner sofa and then if we swing round lovely big tv there there is an entire kitchen area how sweet is this i've even got not that i need to use it but a little dishwasher which is nifty so my little kitchen area and then if you come up the stairs back to the bed area it's the bad zimmer the bathroom um and it's just got a really good big shower loo uh sink and mirror so i'm gonna put my camera away now and i'm not gonna take it with me um if there was anything i desperately wanted to film i could just film it on my phone and just attach it in in the edit um, yeah, I don't know how to end this vlog really. It's been a really interesting couple of days, something that I'm not really familiar with, but exciting to learn more about it. Really, this is just a bit of a meh vlog, isn't it? Because I've not filmed the main event very well at all. Apologies. Um, maybe you just put this on in the background while you potted about and did your housework or whatever. So I hope you enjoyed it anyway. <laughs> I'll be back soon with normal, good 
could by my standards vlogs and i will see you all soon thank you so much for watching bye